me again, Jasmine Miranda from BSN Level 3, Block 1. So for this video, we're going to talk about the psychological impacts of COVID-19 to older adults. The COVID-19 pandemic is impacting the global population in drastic ways. In most countries, older people are facing the most threats and challenges at this time. Although all age groups are at risk of contracting COVID-19, older people pay significant risk of developing severe illness if they contact with the disease due to physiological changes that come with aging and potential underlying health conditions. Quick fact! Did you know that 8 out of 10 COVID-19 reported deaths in the U.S. have been in adults 65 years and older? comes with the sad fact that as you get older, your risk of being hospitalized for COVID-19 increases. This pandemic has significant psychosocial impacts such as health anxiety, adjustments, panic, anxiety, chronic stress, insomnia, and a lot of uncertainty and misinformation that causes mass hysteria. Also, social isolation for the elderly is a serious public health concern. Due to their biopsychosocial vulnerabilities, social distancing, though a major strategy to fight COVID-19, is also a major cause of loneliness, particularly in settings like nursing care or old age homes, which is an independent risk factor for depression, anxiety disorders, and suicide. Mental health is the cornerstone of public health, more so in the elderly. During the COVID-19 pandemic, lack of interaction and social distancing excavates psychological disorders and increase the risk of depression and anxiety in the elderly. According to Frontiers, a group of psychiatric researchers from University of Cariri in Brazil showed that 37.1% of adults experience depression and anxiety during this pandemic. In addition to isolation, fear and stress contribute to the onset and excavation of pre-existing mental health disorders. Because of the crisis caused by the pandemic, intervention in preventive measures must be implemented to mitigate and reduce the risk of psychological impact of psychiatric disorders in the elderly. First is expanding telehealth care for the elderly and for their families. To answer questions about symptoms, establishing contact to monitor access or medication administration, and suggest non-pharmacological adjuvant therapy, like giving cognitive behavioral therapy sessions that can be attended online. Second is using telepsychiatry as a screening tool for the cases of elderly people with mild to moderate psychiatric disorders, and an assessment tool for cases requiring hospitalizations or strict monitoring such as psychosis. Also preparing training materials for health professionals based on the past experiences to qualify them to provide care and act as multipliers of good mental health practices in the pandemic. And that's it for our today's video. Again, this is Justin May Miranda, your student nurse, giving you a reminder to always wash your hands, wear your mask, and to always keep in touch with your friends to keep you sane during these hard times.